Well, I, anyway, hey, this is Olga from uh, from Russia, one of the cutest little white women in the world, the best haircutter I know, and uh, she's down here from St. Louis, and we're glad she's with us. So, say hi. yeah. What's up? <laughs> say hello in Russian. Привет, как дела? Привет, как дела? And say, hey, how you doing? You know, I haven't been to Russia in what in 12 years. So expensive to go there. It's like what three grand to just buy a ticket? It's retarded. So how long have you actually been here in the United States? I've been here for what about twelve years. Lived in Russia for about twelve years. Haven't seen my sister in about twelve years. She doesn't know any English. Only her husband wow. and her daughter knows English. She's only ten years old. She Ebonics? knows four. Ebonics? Probably. <laughs> I don't know. It could be five languages. Well, but actually, Bianca speaks um, French. And spam, but Why do speech. you have to rain on my parade, dude? <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> I was feeling pretty special right now. Feet were in the feet. There you go. Could have been, yeah. could have been oh, a Yeah. Oh, I got a, could have been a scary bitch. story about foot fetishes and another guy. Bad story. I don't, I don't know. I, I know Hank. Hank probably wants to hear it, though. I, I know Margaret don't, but Hank probably <laughs> wants to hear it. If I know Hank or David, they want to hear it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, um, I was in St. Louis. I woke up this one morning and. Uh, my roommate said, hey, you got to get up and uh, we're going to make some money today. I was like, what the hell are you talking about? She's like, you got to get up now. Where's your used shoes that you don't want anymore? I was like, uh, in the closet. So she picks up my shoes and we get in the car and we show up at this uh, person's house. We go inside and it, some guy opens up a door and he's like, um, so you got the shoes? I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> she was like, yeah, I got the shoes. So like, she puts them in the corner and we go downstairs. She's like, I want to show you my closet. And then <laughs> we go downstairs and I look in the closet. It's a closet, like half of this room full of women's used and brand new shoes. He had that big of a fetish for women's feet. Do you make money? What'd you make on those shoes? shoes? I spent 20 bucks on the shoes and pay less, and I got $120 for my used shoes. 120 bucks? <laughs> Hell yeah! But that's not the highlight that of the, the whole first time story. She went to his house after right, getting that. whatever. <laughs> no way. He was like, "Hey, you want to try out some shoes? I'll give them to you for free." I was like, "Well, they're free. I didn't know better." So I put on the shoes. I walked around. You know, yeah, these are hot as hell. And I sit down, and he sits right next to me, and I'm not thinking around, thinking at all. He has a cinema right next door, like, you know, the whole chairs and the movie theater right, ne right there. And I'm looking around, and all of a sudden, I feel my feet in his mouth. It was so gross. I was like, what the fuck are you doing, dude? I, don't, I met you, like, five minutes ago, and you already have my foot in your mouth? He, he was like... You're so sexy, oh my God. I've never, oh my God. Get my foot out of your fucking mouth. We gotta leave now. We gotta go. 120 bucks, hey. Hell yeah. It was like, oh, he gave it to my friend. I was like, give me my fucking money. We're gonna go shopping after all this ordeal. I gotta go shopping. I need I'm to gonna... buy some shoes. And watch or a feet. purse, actually I bought a purse. <laughs>